And all the shot have the kick off. It bounces over the head of, uh, I think it might have been Charlie, uh, Barker. Charlie Barker. That's it, yeah. Ball forward is touched out to the left by Barham. Willard's quickly onto it. Good control from him. Holds it up. He's got an overlapping run from Miles Kenlock. He's going to try a shot from distance. And there's a little bit too much adrenaline on that one. It almost disappears into the changing rooms. But the first shot of the night, it nevertheless, comes in the second minute. Ball, ball forward. Is he offside there, Campbell? He's not given us offside. He takes it clean out of the air from Ashby Hammond's goal kick and volleys over the stand. Partington is setting himself. And Partington is. Bangs it in on target, maybe hoping for a bit of spillage and a follow-up. Ball shot, respond, ball through to Campbell, sharp turn. Barham's onto it, handballs it though, referee well placed to spot that. Another throw comes in, edge of the air and uh, Cordner I think tried the overhead kick but uh, just went high, he, he never got any control on it. Ryan Glover's over it, looks to me like he's going to clip a ball over the top, looking for the likes of Partington or Glover or even the athletic Haji Minoga, in comes the ball, headed down, knocked down, edge of the air, held up by Minoga, back to Cordner on the right-hand side, he's got no, no real option, eventually he goes back to Glover, Glover takes the ball forward on the right-hand side, almost loses it, in comes McCoy with the cross, it's a good one, and there's a great header on target from Corey Jordan, almost got his third goal in five games and it's brought a brilliant save from Sam Howes, but in comes left-footed low, driven right across goal, Tapped in towards goal, it should have been an easy goal for Wheelstone, but somehow, I think it might have been Andrews, I'm not 100% sure, but he picked out a defender on the line and hit it straight at him. Uh, there's great skill there from uh, Claydon, but his pass goes into touch. Kins, I've got to say, that should have been a goal, shouldn't it? But uh, he just is a clear, clear swing and a free kick to Tarvin Campbell. Again, Glover's going to try and clip the ball over the top, and it comes. Contact across, headed down, and Campbell can't get his shot away. He's still got the ball in the penalty, he tries a couple of turns, and they don't come off on this occasion, and Wildstone clear it off of an Aldershot Town player. Ball through the middle from Wildstone, Corey Andrews is almost onto it. Great challenge from Haji Minoga, who dives in front of Corey Andrews, is about to pull the trigger from 12 yards out. Tarvin Campbell on the edge of the penalty area, plays it out wide to Barham. He's in on the right-hand side, clips the ball into the far post, headed away. Uh, missed by a Wildstone player, picked up by Partington, taken down by Glover to the edge of the penalty area. He's going to come back to Corey Jordan. Jordan gives it back to him, nice triangle, some shots. Willard on the ball now, goes back to Glover. Can Glover make room for a cross? He can. It's a good one. Header hits the bar. It hits the bar. In it comes. It's headed towards goal and touched in, uh, touched towards goal and the flag goes up. Another one of those moments where Aldershot didn't quite get the contact after the first ball. Right, here's Partington trying to spread a ball out to the right-hand side to Glover and it's a good weight on it. He's seen the right-hand side of the penalty, skips in onto his left foot, tries a shot, deflection, falls at the feet of an Aldershot town player and it's over the line! It's bundled home, I think it's Tavon Campbell again with his third goal in three games. Three unbeaten so far for Tommy Widrington. Started with two draws, then the win on Saturday against Scunthorpe. Ball into the area, headed down by and away by Minoga. Partington strokes it into the path of Kenlock, who takes on his man in his own area, which is not always the best thing to do. And um, he has lost possession. Cook inside to Ashley Charles in the edge of the penalty area. Shot comes in, it's parried away. They might get the follow-up shot, and that's blocked brilliantly by Tyler Cordner. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.